This week, we take the camper van on a driving tour at Arizona and see wolves and bears up close. Got your beer? I didn't. I got the uh, Tower IPA. That was good last time. It was. You ready for lunch? I am. I love the fall season because of all the root vegetables and winter squashes. Today we are having steamed sweet potatoes. So Joe likes his with raisins, ground flaxseed, and tahini, and a little bit of salt. I like mine straight up, but either way, it's really good. All right, I'll fix yours first. For those of you who don't know, tahini is kind of a, it's a sesame butter. Perfect. Here you go. Thank you. Gotta get it all mixed in. Kind of like mashed sweet potatoes. I think this would make a great Thanksgiving dish. Well, it smells so good. It does. I love the smell of warm tahini. Enjoy your sweet potato mashup. Cheers. It's really fun to just walk into a place like that and meet fellow travelers. Ooh, it's cold. Let's get back to the van. Right. It's been a really nice day in Flagstaff. And I have to thank the YouTube subscriber that saw us outside of Whole Foods that suggested we come over and sit in front of the uh, or this fire. So thank you very much. We're taking you up on your advice. Tonight, I think the low is gonna be 32. Tomorrow is 30, we can make it through that. But once it starts getting below freezing on a regular basis, we're out and we're going south. Where exactly, I don't know, but we're gonna to have to go to warmer temperatures. This is pretty nice though. It's gonna be a chilly night in the van. Leo's happy. Yes. Leo. Good boy. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. Another beautiful day in Flagstaff. And no, we did not spend the night in front of the fire. Although, that would have been really nice. It got pretty cold last night. I think it was 38 degrees when we woke up this morning. Uh -huh. So, we're warming up before we get the day started. Leo's warming up too. Leo doesn't need to warm up at all. I think that we're off to the observatory today. Yep. This is the observatory where they discovered Pluto. I love it. Yeah. All right, well, let's finish warming up and then we can get going. Sounds good. I'm driving. Leo, be afraid. Hey. Be very afraid. I'm a good driver. their Pluto statue right out front. And a little kaleidoscope. Oh, there he is. There's Pluto. Let's see. That's really cool. Uh-huh. Come on, let's go inside. This is the Pluto walk. Starting with the sun, every inch all the way up back to Pluto is representative of a million miles. And Pluto is past the top of the hill all the way to the dome back there.
That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed our time on the air. Highlight for me was the solar telescope. I love being able to look through that and see the sun. It's the first time I've ever done that. Yeah, and you can see the little fingers of fire coming up off the edges of the sun. And it's pretty phenomenal. Well, I think we're going to hit the gym again, get another shower, another workout in, and it's supposed to be a cold night tonight. I think it's getting down to high 20s, so fingers crossed. Last time we were in Flagstaff, we had wanted to go to Arizona, but instead we went to the Petrified Forest. That was a lot of fun, and then it got a little too cold for us then, so we had to head south. So this time, we're making it out to Arizona. He was excited to see bears. Do you think they'll let us drive through the park in our van? I think so. I don't see any reason why not. The only thing I saw, restriction-wise, you have to have a hard top. Uh, and you can't have anything protruding from your vehicle. So I don't know what they're going to say about the spare tire carrier. And Leo's allowed to go too. Leo, you can come with you. Windows up, doors locked, no exceptions. Are the doors locked? They are now. But this gate is wide open. Well, that's why they have this cattle grate here, because the animals can't cross it. Or if they're all hanging out in their den. I'm gonna guess, oh, they're right there in the middle of the road. Oh, yep. I like how they're just laying in the road. Yep. That was your ancestor, bud. Oh, these are the junior bears. Yeah, this is the one they said is will jump on your car and tear things off. It's a big guy. All right, you ready? There I'm are a ready. Couple, there's two of them on our right, too. Oh, really? And don't forget, we're not allowed to stop. Looks like it's scratching itself on the rock. Oh, the tree. It's scratching its butt. <laughs> You like the bear, bud? <laughs> he wants to go after it. I like this guy. I got to see bears, like, literally feet from us. Is this the walking tour? This is. Okay. So found some nice shade. We can go in and check out everything else. Perfect. <laughs> I could make room for this in the van. I would just have to get rid of my entire cabinet of clothes. <laughs> Come on, Leo. I think I'm gonna make another coffee and then let's go drive around the park again. Okay. That was a lot of fun. I'm and the cool thing is we can drive around as many times as we want. 
I'm ready for round two. I've got my coffee, so. You sure you don't want me to drive? I kind of enjoy driving. Okay. So, plus, I can drink my coffee and you can film. Oh. oh. It's sniffing the van. It is? Uh-huh. They both are. I know we're in a enclosed vehicle, but those wolves are a lot bigger when they're two feet from your face. There it is. Oh, it's coming back for us. It's licking its chomps. I hope Leo's on to him. Doesn't care about the wolves, but he likes his bears. I like this guy in the middle of the road. Uh huh. I think it's one of Leo's favorite too. My sister would be totally panicked right now. We should probably keep moving though. Yeah, about now's the time to move. That's a big bear. So the big bear enclosure is the very last attraction you see. And as we were driving out, we stopped and we were saying hello to Julia, who mans the booth right there at the end and gave us these awesome Bearzona stickers. Well, as we're driving out, I noticed in my side view mirror that there's a bear sniffing the back end of the van. It's a good thing we pulled away when we did. I don't want to lose any accessories on there, like a bumper or a spare tire, those sort of things. All right, you ready to head home? Well, we, we are, are home, home. <laughs> but head to our uh, city for the evening. Sure, do you want to go to Flagstaff tonight? Uh, we can, or we can just drive down to Sedona. I'm up for whatever. Okay, we'll figure it out on the road. Okay. Next time, our van may be small, but we still have plenty of room and reasons to shop at Costco. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, if nothing else, for Leo. If you haven't already, subscribe. And if you want to check out the camper van series from the beginning, click right up here. See you next week. Leo, you're good at this. Oh, oh, look at that. All right, let's go see some more bears. Come on.